Now, the management of the National Service Scheme has directed all National Service personnel to take their mandatory paid and or leave with effect from Thursday, March 25, till the end of April. The decision is in line with President Okufuado's precautionary uh, directive on measures to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus disease. All newly posted nurses who were due to start their national service in April were also directed to start the month of April as their terminal leave. These were contained in a statement signed by the executive director of the NSS, Mustafa Youssef. Their leave is usually granted in the last month of their service period. The decision is also in compliance with the Public Service Commission's circular recommending that all interns, national service personnel, NAP Corps office, uh, officers and other non-essential staff could take their leave. Asha, thank you very much for that. But uh, I've been joined in studio by Mr. Benatha, who is a labor expert, uh, to, to help us uh, do this analysis. And uh, Ms. Arthur, thank you for your time this evening. And this is this whole homework or working from home, some say it's not very prominent in, in our space. Definitely. So how will that impact on productivity going forward? Well, uh, thank you once again. It depends on the kind of uh, work that we're talking about, but for some kind of work, uh, it provides not just some comfort, it gives you a balance of uh, work and family, you know. So for some kind of work, it, it is positive, giving you work and family balance. But on the larger note, there will be some kind of productivity losses. It brings into question uh, many issues that in this country, as far as our our practices are concerned, we have not considered. People for many years have disputed with me mm. with the defining the workplace depending on what the employee does at the, at, the, at, the, at the home as a workplace. If I take my spouse, for example, early right. in the morning, she begins with calls, you know, conference calls here and there. Mm -hmm. So automatically, my bedroom is defined in a way as a workplace. As, as, as a workplace. And right in her car, she will be engaging others right on the way going. So workplace has a dynamic definition depending on what you require the employee to do at any particular place in time. So should there be any accident that leads to an injury in this workspace that you have just defined? What happens? Who bears the liability? That, that is where we have a lot of questions. Employers under the Labor Act 651 of 2003 must come to accept that when we talk about responsibilities to provide safe working environment, if you also look at our Article 24, that's our 1992 constitution, it is imperative for employers to provide safe you know, working conditions. So once you are an employer, you have gone to define the home of an individual as a workplace for that particular employee, then what it means is that you ought to have a contribution as far as safety in that place is concerned. Even if it is not homes, but in the conventional workplaces, mm -hmm. it is also imperative for employers to ensure that such workplaces are free of diseases. So if you look at COVID-19 uh, COVID mm -hmm. and the obligations of employers, you will realize that employers must be able to prevent any spread of such diseases in their workplace. So, Yes, in Ghana, we, we seem to be appealing to employers. We seem to be begging them. But for them, it is an imperative that you make sure that such diseases do not spread. Let me give you some little statistics. Yes, maybe. The, the recent uh, ILO Global Estimate on Workplace Injuries and Diseases gives 2.78 million work-related deaths as recorded per year. And then out of it, we have 2.4 million which is related to occupational diseases, mm. costing us 3.94% of the world's GDP. Wow. So that is very huge. Pretty interesting. So how about using the internet, um, internet connectivity? I mean, you mentioned that earlier and, and all of these things. I'm, so let me use it this way. I'm in my room using my laptop. There's a, um, a spark as a result of an electrical fault. The employer bears that liability of the injury that I would that, that, know, that, that, that conclusion 
will have to come from safety investigations. Okay. So we will not be able to draw it at this studio. Right. Benata, thank you for your time. This thank evening. you for having Benata me as well. is a labor expert. Uh, you're still live here on uh, News 360.